Love Islands drives Alex asked Alexandra for a second chance during the recoupling last week after they both had their heads turned and were rejected. Although the pair seemed to be getting on well and even enjoyed a date in a Ferrari last night, Alex called time on the romance. He explained that he didn't want their romance to move as quickly as Alexandra had hoped. Alex added that he didn't think he had a spark with Alexandra after she confessed she was looking forward to meeting his friends and family. The medic told fellow islander Jack Fenchim, We just don't seem to it doesn't seem to feel right. I don't have the right feelings that I should be. The thing is she wants to move at quite a quick pace. She wants lots of affection and she wants things to move quite quickly. I feel like things just aren't quite right with us I just can't match that. Jack tried to persuade Alex to give the romance another go but he wouldn't listen. Alex was later seen trying to gently end the relationship but Alexandra called him out and branded him pathetic. Before she stormed off she claimed he had wasted both of their time. Following their breakup, it looks certain that Alex will be one of the next contestants to leave the villa. Bookmakers Coral believe Alex and Alexandra are most likely to miss the final next Monday. The odds on the couple leaving together have been slated at 8-11. However, spokesperson Harry Aitken had noted it is possible that Alex or Alexandra could leave on their own adding. There are odds on favorites to be the next couple to leave the villa. Megan Barton Hansen and Wes Nelson may also miss out on the final. The bookmakers have revealed the odds the couple will be the next to leave are at just 2 slash 1. Meanwhile Paul Knobs and Laura Anderson and Josh Denzel and Kazimir Crossley's odds to leave next are at 4 slash 1. However, bookies seem certain that Jack Fincham and Donnie Dyer will make it to the final. The odds on the couple leaving the villa are at 33 slash 1. Love Island continues tonight on ITV at 9 p.m.